Fed hadn't been forgotten, I'd go. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you I'm here in Strasbourg. What? What? Are you YouTubing? Yes. Right. Yes, I am. You YouTube. Well, I'm here with Dad and Mom, wherever she is. In the bathroom. Probably taking a crap. <laughs> so, yeah, we're about ready to get on the train. So, yeah. What? Been there, done that, just not with steam. Yeah. It's still, I still think the best is up there. Huh? When you're on the platform watching, it's still yeah. the best. Do they have somebody up there to throw the switches or do they have to get down and do their own? I think they have to go down the and do it has their to, own. Oh yeah, the fireman's up there. Depends on what day it is. Yeah. I think I've ridden behind 470. For the last time I rode, it was 90. A couple times was when 475 was in its 15 year cycle. And it was being. 15 built. year? Yeah, when they got to tear all the tube boilers out oh, and yeah. do all the tubes and stuff. Those yeah. things take, can take a year, a year and a half to redo. Well, depending on if you do it right. And what they find when they tear the tubes is you get a hook hard in the front there, put a hook right up here.
I think we're good. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's not doing proper uh, whistle. here at the Railroad Museum here in Strasbourg. So we got an empty coal train getting all filled up. Let's see, is that one of ours? No, no more. Again, yeah, you want it. Oh. It's it's tall wheels. Oh, they got these big fans. Those are cool. What fan? Oh, those, those real big ones. It's amazing how much air those things do. Yeah, it's insane. Hmm. Hmm. What? These are all, I think, these are all Pennsylvania. Railroad locomotives. Do not climb. Get some. Oh, I wish that was small. It's at a. No, it's a zero six zero. So basically, what I mean by a zero six zero is there's usually two, um, one or two wheels here, and then however many are on there and then in the back wait dad this is a zero six zero right yes it is aha i got it right t t whatever that means oh because no the, tender. Uh, the tank is tanking oh t means tanking mm. well that was that was uh, from the war they used to do Didn't the Nazis do something like that? They built a huge Well, the French did gun. it too. They used to use rail guns. And the, they used to put real big ones on railroads and be able to move them around to where they needed firepower in the First World War. Mm. The Nazis used them some in the Second World War, but they weren't real effective. No, because they were huge. Because the war in the Second World War, the war moved too fast. What's the V and T? Virginia and Truckee. Oh. Tahoe. That's an old, that's an old wood burner. You know, this is like the stuff they use at um, 
steam in history. Kinda. Well, you see, you know how it's a wood burner head? Because of the. Well, they usually. Well, the, the, well, the balloon net. stacks, which really don't matter, but they have the. the netting on. They have to have the. It's netting. See, I told you. Virginia and Truckee. Virginia and Truckee. Yeah, I do know a few things about trains. Alright. These do not climb on equipment. Well, a couple of them let you. See, now this is a. What? Four six zero. Pretty sure. Let's see what this says. Four six zero. Yeah, four six zero. Wait, wait. This is diesel elect. Not these are just the diesel. Yeah, diesel electrics. So basically, how a steam engine works is up here. In the tender, it holds water. I'm pretty sure it holds water. Water and coal. Or wood. So basically, there's a fireman who gets the coal, throws it in the firebox, there's water, boils it, goes through tubes. Wait, is it steam and smoke? What is it? Steam and... Steam dome and... That's the steam dome. Steam dome. And that's, that's, the, sand, that's the sand dome. Oh, okay. This is the steam dome, that's the sand dome. Yeah. And then up on the front there is what's probably the super heat, uh, superheater up there. Ah. Okay, you interrupted me, but oh, I asked. Uh, yes, I know. It goes through tubes, goes into the steam box, goes through here. Some of it goes through the smokestack, which is just basically soot and all that fun stuff. Goes through these tubes into these. The steam moves a piston, which moves these rods. Which moves the wheels. That's basically how a steam engine works in a nutshell. The Pennsylvania Railroad uh, diesel electric. Now the diesel electrics took over basically, uh, I think, early, well, probably I think late 40s, early 50s. Because basically railroads were figuring that these steam engines were way too expensive. So basically, what this does is it has a basically like a hor like a 14 1500 horsepower well the new ones have like 14 1500 horsepower um so basically diesel makes all the generator which i think is basically in here turns the generator which makes the electric power and these these here are called traction motors which take the electric and move the wheels now this is a three, well, I guess you could, three axle truck. See, the wheels, which are right there, uh, they're wheels. The whole assembly is called a truck. And then there's axles. About a five, I think the new one, the new ones here have 5,000 gallon tanks. Is your fuel, I don't know what that is, I think that might be DEF which is basically exhaust fluid stuff. So yeah. Engine 1670 is a zero, six, zero. Now there's nothing for the tenders because they're all two, they're all four axles. And I really don't think that the design of the Actually, I, these do help um, because usually the ones like that, you can't see what's behind you. So with these, it makes you it helps see everything. Which is Pennsylvania Power and Light or PPL. This is what it is. It is a fireless, so it's a thermos bottle. Just restored. Strasburg does all of their own restoration. Um, and they also do some contracting work with other people, like other railroads and the fun stuff. Looks really nice. This is a four, four, yeah, four, four, one, or four, four, two, blah, blah. which, eh, I mean, I kind of like the way this looks just because it's better looking. The other one just looks really weird. 
What's in here? Oh, passenger coach. Thousand? Yeah. Holy crap. I like this engine. This it's engine it was funny to number one. Car, but it's a uh it's said, really freaking old. Joseph, the, uh, it's uh, early eighteen hundreds. Late seventeen hundreds I would say, I think. I don't even know when steam you know, locomotives were say, were first produced, so it's wooden. Back in the olden days, they were wood, and now they're yeah, now, they have the now they're metal. They actually have shoes on them. I just wanted to make sure because just wanted to make sure. It's a little bit. Just a smidgy. Oh, that was from the flood. They all got mangled Downtown up. Downtown flood wheels. The power flood. of water. Jeez. All right. Time to go. If you ever wanted to see the inside or the bottom of a uh, steam locomotive, here you go. Alright, we'll start from the back. Alright, so you got your coupler, axle, brakes, and uh, suspension, another axle, whatever that does, airlines. Hoses, uh, the rear of the engine. All right, nope, still the front of the tender. Airlines, uh, steam stuff, box for sand, I think. Got your springs. Don't know what that does. Oh, that might be the uh, firebox thing. Um, oh, there's your boiler and your axle and cow catcher everything here uh what was i gonna look at oh. so these are called brake shoes when you're changing one watch your fingers do not put your fingers in there you will lose them i'm gonna take another bat this is the other side of the uh well hiding so, yeah this the 460. Um, it is the Lindenberg Special. Well, it's it's called the Lindenberg. The Lindenberg Special was, I think, something about racing a plane from New York to DC. I think. I don't really know. Didn't read up on it. So uh, gonna read up on it now. Today, um, kind of tired. Got like an hour drive home. Um, my fidget spinners came yesterday, but mom never gave them to me, so I gotta wait for tomorrow. I don't want to. But uh, yeah, this ends today's video, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.